that? Uh, I guess a, a bit of a, a rude awakening, but sometimes it can give you a little bit of focus. Bradley's still trying to make his way through and still not happy. I wonder whether he's going to make another bike change and whether he'll give this machine a little bit more respect. He, he could be running out of machinery. Oh, it goes, puts it down nice and gently into the grass. <laughs> he has been known to abuse his uh, machines in the past, Sean, out of frustration. I remember one spectacular a few years ago where he, uh, he hurled his time trial bike and it went and parked itself rather neatly up against a cliff edge. Yes, well, we've seen that a number of times, uh, not only from Bradley Wiggins, but from other riders as well. Sure. And, of course, it happens at a real... Uh, uh, a real you know important time in the race well then the riders really get frustrated and they get you know uh, really aggressive with the bike they take the aggression out on something got to do it uh, bradley is not the only one gerald chelick uh, you may have seen uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago took himself a tumble and indeed uh, sm i think i think he actually smashed his helmet to pieces and the problem was it was uh, i don't think it was another helmet of his size in the car <laughs> um so yes it can be a time where you just have to uh, take a moment